What's up guys, in the last video we finished adding the collision detection between the player and the asteroids and we also added some text to the top left and right corners. One's for how many lives you have and the other one is for um, the score. We also have the game over logic to where if you collide with three asteroids then you lose the game. So that's all looking good right now. Um, I think next what I want to work on is adding like this star, right? So what, what happens whenever you hit the star is that the user is going to get a feature to where they can have infinite ammo. So that if they hold down the space bar, then they'll be able to shoot as much as they want. It's not just one, one bullet per tap. They'll hold it and the bullets will just keep flying out, right? So to start that off, we're going to go up to the very top. We're going to create a Boolean variable and we'll call this like, um, we can just call it rapid fire and we'll set that equal to false by default and so let's go and create a class for the star so we can just go here above the redraw game window we're going to say class star it's going to be an object and then we need to create the init function for it init that's looking good and then for this function, some of the values that we need to create are for starters, we're going to need to get the image. So we'll say self dot img is equal to star image, and I believe we initialized that at the top. So yeah, we did. So that's going to be good. And then next, we need to get the width and the height of the star. So we'll say self dot w equals self dot image dot get width. And then self dot height is equal to self dot image dot get height. Perfect. And so with the star, we want it to come in from a random point. We don't want it to come in from the same place every single time. And so to do that, we are going to. So we need it. It's gonna come in the same way the asteroids come in, where it can come in from anywhere. And so I think we can just scroll up. So I hopefully guys remember this really long. <laughs> annoying line we had but I think it'll work just as well so we can just copy it instead of retyping it all out and pasting it there so make sure you have this because that's what we need and then next what we're going to need to have is the x and the y so we'll say self dot x comma self dot y is equal to self dot ran points and so like the zero index of the random point goes to the x and the first index which is kind of like the second index, right? Because they start off with zero, goes to the Y. And basically we have to figure out what direction the star needs to move depending on where it's coming from. So this is much like the same logic that we had with the asteroids. So we can copy these if statements. Yeah, we can just copy from, we can copy all of it to be honest and paste it there because it's all the same logic. And I guess instead of giving it a random speed, we can just set it to like, times two so it's not too fast or too slow and yeah next we have to create the draw function so we'll say def draw we'll pass in window and in here we're all we're gonna do is say win dot blitz self dot image and then pass in a point self dot x comma self dot y so that looks good now we're going to go here and for the star, so the star is going to come in and leave the screen randomly and it's going to disappear if it gets shot. So instead of, like since the user can actually see multiple stars, they won't be at the same time, but like in the beginning of the game, one come up, maybe like 20 seconds later, another one will. So we're not going to just say star, we're going to create a list of stars. And we're going to say stars equals an empty list. And I think the best method for adding the star to the game is going to be if not game over so much like the way that we add the asteroids we're going to say have another if statement and it's going to say if count percent and i think mm, let's go with like a number like every thousand so every time the count increases by a thousand it'll give us a new star and so if that equals zero then stars dot append 
a new star. Good, good, good. And then we go to the redraw game window. So under these four loops, we'll say 4s in stars. And we will say s dot draw and pass in window. Fantastic. And now we have to check to see if the bullet ever hits the star, right? In this for loop, where we're going through all of the bullets, well, since it's in the asteroid for loop, we can't use it. So we're going to go right here above where we check the lives and we'll say for s in stars. We're going to do two things. We're going to check to see if any of the bullets hit it. And we're also going to check to see if the stars has gotten off the screen, right? So we'll say if s, let's add a couple spaces there. All right. So if s dot x is less than 100 or s, not 100, less than a negative 100 or s dot x is greater than the screen width plus 100 or s dot y is greater than the screen height plus 100 or s dot y is less than negative 100 minus s dot h and here we should also do minus s dot h or s dot width my bad so if, if any of those are true then that means the star has gone off the screen and we are going to get rid of it so we'll then we'll say stars dot pop stars dot index of s and then we're also going to break out of the loop but now in the case that a star is on the screen then we're going to loop through the player bullets so for b in player bullets we are going to check to see if the bullet collides with the star so if b dot so we can actually just go up here and see so if b dot x yes yeah, so we can copy these two if statements paste it there and this is gonna be a little tedious but we just have to switch all these a's with s's so it's gonna be a little bit of typing but it's a little bit easier than just kind of typing it all from scratch so every time everywhere you see an a make sure it says s and it'll work All right, that looks good. Now, in the case that the, we find that the bullet did collide with the star, what we're going to do is set the set rapid fire to true. And we are also going to get rid of that bullet and get rid of that star. So then we'll say we'll copy this line. We're also going to get rid of the bullet, so we'll say for player bullets dot pop, and then player bullets dot index of B, and we're going to finish it off by saying break, so it'll break out of that loop. So that all looks like it's doing good, and so now we have to actually let the player shoot the rapid bullets right so earlier in one of the earlier videos i mentioned how if we check the space up here then it would allow the user to shoot infinite bullets whereas down here it stops them and only checks to see every time the space has been pressed down so the way we're going to do this is we're going to go it we're going to do say we're going to say if keys pi game dot k underscore space throw a colon there and then we're going to check if rapid fire and in the case that rapid fire has been turned on what we're going to say is then player bullets dot append a new bullets and then otherwise so if this ends up not being the case then it's going to use this case right here so I guess we could just go down here and say if not rapid fire, just to make sure there's no like doubling of bullets. And yeah, that should be what we need. Okay, so to test to see if the star is working correctly, I'm just gonna go up to where we um, 
well actually yeah where we initialize the stars list and we're just going to start it off with a star right off the bat so that we don't have to wait a while until it comes up so we'll just say star and now let's run this and see what happens so as you can see there is no star we have to change where the star is so let's go let's go right here actually i think we looped through the stars down there yeah so we have to say s dot x is going to plus equals s dot x v and s dot y is going to plus equals s dot y v this is so the reason it wasn't showing up is because it wasn't moving and now it will be so as you can see right off the bat there is our star when i shoot it and i now when i hold down the space bar we got this cool little effect where i can just have unlimited ammo okay so the game just crashed because we actually have to just go down here and say break so that the loop doesn't keep going whenever they get taken out so now let's hit the star get the unlimited ammo which i think is just such a cool effect to have in the game it just makes it look so clean you need to move around and shoot and do all that kind of fun stuff and yeah so now what we want to do is we don't want the user to be able to have unlimited ammo forever we want it to be like a temporary thing right so in order to kind of make it temporary we need to keep track of how long they've had it and so the way we're going to keep track of it is we're going to go to where we check the collision between the star and the bullet so right here so here's where we set rapid fire equal to true right underneath that we need to say we'll, we'll create a variable called rf start which is have for stand for rapid fire start and it's going to be set equal to count okay so by default we're going to set rapid fire start equal to like negative one so rf start equals negative one and then the change that we're going to make is so basically what this variable is going to do is it's going to be set equal to the number of counts whenever it gets hit and then i think we're going to like leave that feature the rapid fire feature available for the user to use for right around like 500 counts or something like that right and so what we're going to do is we need an if statement down here in the while loop so we can just go like right there above where the keys are and we'll say if rf start is not equal negative one and then we're going to say if count minus rf start is greater than 500 then rapid fire is going to become false and then we're going to set rf start equal to negative one so rf start is equal to negative one so what this if statement is doing is it's checking to see how long it's been since rapid fire has been turned on and if it's been more than 500 counts then rapid fire will turn off and rf start will go back to negative one until another star gets um, hit so now let's run this and let's hit the star so now we got rapid fire and now i'm going to keep holding the space and pretty soon what should happen is um it'll just stop shooting bullets yes yeah, so right there i'm still holding space but now it's done and i have to go back to the first method of keep i have to spam the space bar but now it's been a thousand counts and so now we got another star and rapid fire is back so you can kind of space it out you can make you can mess around with how long you want the user to have rapid fire Maybe you just want it to where the user can always have rapid fire. It's it's fully up to you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm, I want to add like a little bar on the top to show the user how much time they have left for rapid fire. So the way I'm going to implement that is by going up to redraw game window. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to have an if statement. And this if statement is basically going to say if rapid fire then we're going to say pi game dot draw rex and we're going to pass in window 
and we're going to pass in a color of black since we're going to have two rectangles the first one's going to be black so zero comma zero comma zero and then this uh, as far as the values for this so we need it to be like, like screen width divided by two minus one out of this yeah and so that's going to be the first x the second or now the second value you have to add is the y we'll make that like 20 pixels down it's like 19 pixels down and then we need the width and the height so the width of this one's going to be 102 and the height's going to be 22. I know these numbers are a little weird. I actually am just using the values I did in my original game when I ran through how to make this. And I mean, those numbers seem to work well the first time, so I'm, if it's not broken, don't fix it, right? Pygame.draw.rex. So now we're going to create another one. This one is going to be white, so they're going to overlap each other. And so the, button, the, the first line that we drew is the black background. This one's going to be a bar that's constantly going to be changing size. And you will see how that works very soon. So the, first, the color of this is going to be white. 255, 255, 255. Now we're going to pass in the list. And in here we're going to say the width, or no, the X is going to be a screen width. Now that I think about it, this should be 349. Yeah, 349. And then, or I guess if you want to be more correct, you can say screen width divided by 2 minus 51. So then here it would be screen width divided by 2, minus 50. The height, we'll just drop it down to 20, that's for that y. And then for the width, it's going to be 100 minus 100 times, parentheses, count minus rf start, divided by 500. And then the height of it's going to be 20. I know this looks confusing, but basically what we're doing is we're figuring out how much time is between the count that the game is currently in and the count that rapid fire got turned on. And the longer, so like to start off, the bar is going to basically be full, and then as more time goes by, it'll become slower until it until rapid fire is off, and then it'll be at zero. So I, I can't really explain it very well. Basically now we've got rapid fire and you can see we have a bar on top that is slowly getting smaller and then once it is fully gone, rapid fire will also be gone. So that's just it just shows the user how much time they have left for rapid fire. And then in while we don't have it, there's nothing and then while we get it again, it comes back, we still get the bar. Just basically telling the user how much time they have left. It's just a little just makes it a little bit cleaner. And so now we've got the stars implemented, and I think that'll wrap it up for this video. I think in the next video what I'm going to do is I want to add the alien that I mentioned earlier. So alien's just going to be like another enemy that the user has to avoid. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you like the content, subscribe for more videos to stay posted. Comment down below if you have any issues, or just DM me on Instagram. My Instagram link is going to be down in the description below. And yeah, peace.